Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. I'm wondering if you've ever been in a kind of situation, like maybe you're at a gig and somebody comes up and requests a song and you say, oh yeah, I know that tune. And then maybe your bass player and your guitar player go, oh no, I don't know that tune. And then you say to the person, uh, we'll play it after the break. Then when you go on your break, you've got to write it down for them real quick at the table. Does that ever happen? Or say maybe you are out to dinner with your family Maybe you're at In-N-Out and you're enjoying your double-double and your animal fries and you get a little text from your sister that says, Hey, Aim, I've been trying to figure out uh, your song by Elton John. Uh, my friend's over here right now. We want to play it together. Can you real quick write me the chords? Really? Seriously? And so you say, uh, yeah, 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 in a sec. I'm eating dinner with my family and she says, Could you please just do it right now? And then you say, all right, and you look around and what do you have? You've got an in and out napkin and uh, maybe a Sharpie or a highlighter pen in your purse or something weird like that and you've got to make it work. This is what I'm talking about today. How to write a chart on the fly. Uh, so I just happen to have this bill lying on my piano. Somebody put it there, evidently thought I was going to pay it. Let's make this as real as possible. We've got to write a chart on the back of this envelope. Let's do it. All right, so I'm at the restaurant. My sister wants your song by Elton John. Now, I don't really have time to go listen to this song. I said it, I wanna finish my animal fries and my chocolate shake. So I'm gonna write as fast as I can. I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna do it. First thing I'm gonna do is think of what key my sister would sing in. My sister's voice is very close to mine and I normally would sing that song, I think in B flat. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Now, this is what we do. I know that the song is in 4-4, four, four, but I don't care. I'm not going to write a meter on a chart like this. We abbreviate everything. We do it as fast as we can. So I know that the first chord is B-flat major. This is how we do it. This, this represents beat one. All right? Now, it goes like this. Da, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We've got a B flat chord for four counts. We've got an E flat chord for four counts. That means one bar of B flat, one bar of E flat. This is, the, this is the way we do it. That represents one bar of B flat. We count the B flat itself as beat one. This counts for beat two. This counts for beat three. This counts for beat four. Now, depending on if you have time, you could write little bar lines like this. I could write a bar line right there. Um, and and I often do that. I often will just section my, my paper off like this into four bars. I'll just do that real quick. And then I just go for it. And I sing in my head. Now I know that some of you guys won't be able to do this so fast, but that's not really the point of, um, of this video. I'm not really showing you how to, uh, how to figure out the chords to a song. I, I do have a video about that. Um, in fact, you can click the little I in the top right corner of your screen right now if you'd like to see that video called How to Figure Out Chords to Songs. But this is more a song that you already know that you just need to write out for somebody really quickly. And this is how I go about it, so I'm going to go pretty fast. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Boom, it's a little bit funny. Two, two, three, four. Mm. Mm -hmm. no. I think it's a D minor. Mm, two, three, four. Mm, do, do, do. Uh, then maybe a D7. Two, three, four. Do. G minor. I'm not one of those. Do. I think it's still G minor with an F. Now, don't hate me if I get these wrong. Like I said, I'm not looking it up. I'm just doing it, you know, what I think it is. And then I think it's a C with an E. Do easily hide. Ooh. And then maybe E flat major. Two, three, four. Uh, B flat with an F. Do I don't have much money. And then I think it's a straight F. But boy, do F diminished. If I did G minor two three. Ah, and then I think that on this fourth beat, do. Do, do. I think it's an F, actually, over an A. So you see that? It's only going to be on this last beat. Look how messy. I'm in and out. I might even get some ketchup on it. Come on. Do, 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 one. 
I buy a big house C minor where E flat we both could live two three four and then you know he adds an extra bar here doesn't he might be even F sus for two Might even be F sus for four. Do, 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 do. And then it's going to repeat. So all I have to do is just look at what I've already written. If I was a sculptor, two, three, four, one. But then again, no, two, three, four. Or man, two, three, who makes potions in a traveling show two three four one two. i know it's not much boom but it's the best you know it might be d instead of f sharp diminished but we'll just do that i can do g minor two three and then again with this so do you see how that works this takes up beat one this takes up beat two beat three and that's beat four doom doom look at i didn't write enough lines I have to do that again really quickly. Mm. My gift is my song, C minor, do, and the E flat, this one's for you. Boom, three, four. Ah, we gotta add another bar again. Then I think it's like maybe B flat major seven. Boo, do. And then here's the chorus. I might just write that for her. She'll appreciate it. Here comes the chorus. Do, 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 do. And you can tell who, who, everybody. Who, who. C minor, maybe. Ooh, this is your song. E flat. Do, 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 do. And then I think it might be nice to just, for the last beat, put a G on the bottom. Do, do, and then it does it again. Might be quite simple, but C minor. Now that it's done, two, three. And then definitely an F right there on beat four. G, G minor. I hope you don't mind. Mm. Mm. F on the bottom. Hope you don't mind. No. That I put down in words. No. Two, three, four. And then maybe you can do this. Um, one more bar of the same thing. You, you know, sometimes I have to add a fifth bar because I'd like to keep at least the phrasing right for her. So the next the next line of the song comes in after two bars, right? Words one, two, three, how one and then I think we'll make it on this envelope, we'll see. Ooh. That seems too low to be a D. Am I lower than D? And, uh, oh my gosh, I've dropped a whole half step. There we go. How one, two, three, four, four, four life, month is while C minor, you're in the world. And then we've got to add another bar. I think an F sus. Do, do. <laughs> ah, it's unfortunate. And then it repeats. Do, I hope you don't mind. Do, I hope you don't mind. Do, that I put down in words. E flat. Another one of these. B flat over D again. Just like this. Durful I this. No. And then I think it's like F sus for two, your, and then F in the world. And then we can do this. Dun. And I might give her a double bar here because this little 
interlude is the same as the intro. So I can, I have a little room. I'll write her a note down here. Do, 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 do. And then I think it keeps a B flat on the bottom and puts an E flat here. Do, be, do, 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 be, do, do. Do, 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 be, do, do. And then that's it. And it'll repeat to the beginning. So I can put um, intro and interlude. I don't know how long it took. You guys can know that because you're watching this video, but it probably did take me about five minutes. My family, are, they're all done with their hamburgers. Mine's cold, my in and out experience. Uh, I wouldn't call it ruined, but maybe it's a little bit tarnished. But you know what? It's worth it because my sister can play her song with her friend and I have just, uh, you know, written a little thing. I can take a picture of it with my phone, send it to her right away, and she's got the chords in her key. <sighs> Maybe you're asking right now, why didn't she just Google them? Um, oh my gosh, because she needs it in her key. <sighs> All right, I just thought of that. But I think that's right. You know, sometimes people need things in their key or whatever. Main purpose today, how to write a chart on the fly. All right, we've got a couple of times, uh, Maybe only one time down here where we actually had a chord and it only takes up two bars of the song. This will actually happen quite a bit depending on what song you pick. So you've got beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. I hope that makes sense to you. And most musicians will see this and be able to read it just as well as they can read a lead sheet. You know, as long as you don't have this stuff going on with um, little codes and whatnot in your margin. Yeah, musicians are darn comfortable with this. You can go back, you can write verse up here. You've got, I mean, this is, this is a great chart right here. I mean, I don't know if all my chords are right, but it's a pretty, pretty good looking chart. And you know, it fits perfectly on the envelope that you're gonna pay your bill on. So Elton John, my gosh, he must've known. I'm pretty sure Elton John knew that. <laughs> Let's do one more tune. Why not? We flip the envelope over. We we'll do one more tune. Let's do an easier tune. Maybe your best friend is an elementary school music teacher, and maybe the principal tells them, um, I need all of the kindergartners to sing the ABCs at the assembly today, and you have to play the piano for them. I, am I, I'm kind of crazy. You, don't, you guys don't need a scenario like this, but let's say you've got to write the ABC chords down for your friend, and, and you've only got this much space to do it <laughs> right here. Ah, okay, so let's give that a shot. Um, first thing you're gonna do is sing the ABCs and figure out what might be a good key. And you're just kind of hoping C major is a good key. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. You hope that's C major. Da, da, dee, 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 da. That's pretty good for little kids. Um, so you go, here you go. Twinkle, twink. I like to put an E on the bottom. G. How I wonder what you are. See that? I'm writing my little bar lines right here. We're only going to have two bars per line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Keep going. Up above the world so high like a F diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star maybe we go f g c for two do 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 like that can you hear it do 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 how i wonder what you are you got it there's your song maybe we should have done this up there do 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 either way abc's it's debatable i like both of them so we'll give them give them both options um and there we go you, you got your abc's for your for your friend abc's right there and you've done it really quickly beat one beat two beat three beat four 
pretty easy. You don't, don't worry about a time signature. They're going to figure it out. You can write one if you want to. What, that would take me one minute? Maybe not even. So fast. I really like this system. <laughs> Tell you what, now your friend is set. Those kindergartners, they're going to nail it at the assembly today. Thanks everybody for hanging out with me and learning how to write a chart on the fly. I hope you had a good time, and I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music.